Brian O'Donnell here, welcome back to another video. So last week I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this video by Kevin Parry and it was just mind blowing. It's so cool, he basically just did an impossible pull up. He did a pull up, put his fingers against the walls and then started doing pull ups like this. It was really cool and I looked at it and I was like, that's really effective, really eye catching and really easy to make. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a video like this for yourself. Now, four things you need. One, pull up bar on the door or a door frame to hang out of or an actual pull up bar. Two a stool or something to stand on. So if I stand on this stool, I can easily reach the pull-up bar. Three, a green screen or a green bed sheet or any color bed sheet that's different color than the clothes you're wearing. And four, your tripod. If you're filming for Reels or TikTok, make sure to film vertically. But yeah, face this tripod towards the door, film me vertically, and that's your setup and you're ready to go. You might also notice that I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt. Like as you can see at the bottom, it flops over. That's gonna be really important. You don't wanna wear a skin tight t-shirt while doing this. I know it looks good while doing a workout to have a skin tight t-shirt, but for this trick, it's better to have a baggy t-shirt on and a contrasty color, so yellow and black. It'll be really easy to separate the two when we're editing them out afterwards. Okay, so you want to take two clips. The first clip is gonna be you standing on a stool or a chair or whatever, and just pushing yourself up with your legs and doing whatever motions you want with your hands. You can do a one-handed pull-up, you can put your hands on the walls with your fingers, do whatever you want. And in the second video, you're gonna get a green screen or a green bed sheet or any color bed sheet you have, as long as it's a different color to the colors that you're gonna be wearing. And then hang it up. If you have a bed sheet, I find to just clamp it between doors. Just find a way, get someone to hold it up behind you. Anyway, have it in the background, then just hang there with your legs. Dangle them in random positions, move them around, do whatever you can. And just make sure that the whole background is covered in green or just another color, so then it can be easy to mask out or chroma key it out afterwards. Which will make sense when we get into editing. Okay, including the intro, I think we filmed that pull-up sequence about 20 times. That's like, it's like 60 pull-ups. That's actually a fair bit. I'm kind of kind of breathing heavily after that. Oh, and you'll also need a third clip for an empty background. Just let the camera film once you're out of frame. Take the chair out, take whatever you're standing on out of frame. Let it roll for a few seconds. So now we just need to edit it together and it's actually not that complicated for quite a hard trick. So. All you do first, you import your two clips into your timeline. So tap on this first clip of you just on the chair, just doing your pull-ups. Scroll down until you find this pen icon and then draw a mask in any shape you want, just cutting off the lower half of your body. Make this a circle. Make sure to tap the stopwatch button and then every frame, move the mask with your body until every frame is removing your lower body. The reason I have like different colored shorts and t-shirt on is because it's easy to crop off the bottom of the yellow t-shirt because it's a different color and it's a lot easier to see. And then if I drag my empty clip, which I just let rolling off the scene. If I drag this underneath that layer I've just cut out, as you can see, it just looks like I'm, I'm a floating body. It just looks like I'm doing pull-ups with no legs. So now all we have to do is add the legs in. So the legs clip was filmed with the green background. So to get rid of this, you want to search for ultra, drag the ultra key onto the clip, and then you scroll down, tap on this little pen dropper thing, tap the area of green on the clip, and then it'll naturally just select, do a selection for you. Now, this isn't always accurate, and you'll have to fill out with a few of these different buttons and different sliders until you get a selection that's right for you, but you can see with your eye what looks best. Play around until you get it right, and now you can see that the green image has been erased. But you don't want to keep the whole image, so you want to scroll down to opacity, find the little pen tool, draw a mask around your legs, so now all you have left is just your legs. And now all you do on the top layer, you're gonna have your clip of you just doing the pull-up while standing on the stool, but your legs are cut off. On the bottom layer is gonna be your plain background. And then in the middle layer is gonna be just your floating legs that you've cropped out and then green screened. So now all you do, you tap on the middle clip, go to position and scale, press the time watch on both of these, and then just adjust the scale and positioning until your legs match with the bottom of your body throughout all the frames. So I tend to do this in sets set to three, so every three frames I'd stop and reposition the legs, then I go another three frames, reposition the legs over and over until it matches up and you have a perfect sequence. So yeah, and then you get a really cool result just like this. So if you did enjoy this tutorial and you want to see other video editing tricks, transitions, anything like that, just ask me below and I'll make a video on it every week. Every Friday I'm gonna make a video. Anyway, so the giveaway I had going two weeks ago, I'm gonna do that now. So how I'm gonna do this random, I have a random number generator. I'm just gonna press generate and it's gonna give me a number, 64. So now I'm gonna to go to my story. So here's a screenshot of all the people who replied to the stories and I'm gonna to count to the 64th one. So it goes down and sets a five, so we'll go. Okay, cool. And Marie, Marie McDerm. 
Mario Derm, Mario Dharma, I don't know. Marie, you've won, congratulations. Thank you everyone for entering. And yeah, unlu unlucky if you didn't win. I appreciate everyone who entered and it was for the Dublin Cinematic Video, which you guys showed immense support of. And I do plan on doing a proper big giveaway to you guys. I just wanna, I don't know, if I hit a few more subscribers on YouTube, I'll have that landmark where I hit 50K on Instagram. I think then I'm gonna do a big giveaway because I wanna give back to all you who've supported me and always like commented on my stuff, always liked my things, followed me on all my social medias. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate everyone here. So yeah, press that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, you're cool. If you haven't, well, I mean, you could be cool if you pressed it. And yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.